Hello friends welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make this. So let's start. Create a new composition. Now we need to import our media file to project. Add logo to timeline. Our logo is big let's scale it. Press S on your keyboard to open scale option. I will scale it to 60% maybe 50% will be fine. If your icon is small enough then you don't need to scale the image. Now to create folding logo we need to mask the logo. Before that we need to change our logo to 3D by clicking the small box icon. Let's draw the guideline first. If you can't see the rulers go to view and select show rulers. Now drag the guideline in center. Make sure they are above the 3D guideline. Now we need to create 4 duplicate images one for each block. Select logo and press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now we need to select the first image and we need to draw mask for that image. Select rectangle tool and draw mask for first block. Select second image and draw mask for second block. You should know that when we draw mask on any image then only area under mask will be visible. Do this for all images. In this tutorial we are doing this for only 4 block but you can do for as many as block you want. Now our masking is done. Now we need to animate our logo. Make sure you have selected the first image. Press R on your keyboard to open rotation options. Select the time from where you want to start the animation. I will go for 2 seconds forward, now we need to rotate our logo in Y direction, so create a keyframe for Y rotation and change angle to 90 degree. Go 1 second forward and change angle to 0. Now you can see our animation. We need to do this for all 4 blocks. Now let's do the same for second image. Now in second image we need to change angle to minus 90 degree. Create a keyframe and change angle to minus 90 degree. In third image we need to rotate it in X direction so we need to change X rotation value to 90 degree. And in fourth image change Y rotation to 90 degree which is as same as first image. Our animation is done now let's check how it look. Our animation is little bit slow let's make it fast. Select all images and press R on your keyboard this will view rotation properties of all images. Select all the keyframes and change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Click on the small graph icon to open animation graph. Select all points and drag the first one to the center this will make our animation smooth.
Now press out key and select the last keyframe and drag it backward this will reduce the time and make animation faster. Now you can see our animation, we have reduced time duration, making animation faster. Select all images and make it pre-compose. Give name logo or any name you want. I will name it as logo. Make it a 3D composition. Now let's rotate it to some direction. Select the rotation tool. And rotate in X direction, Y direction or Z direction. Now let's make it floating icon. Press P on your keyboard to open position option. Create keyframe for starting of animation and for each block. If you need adjust the keyframe, Now go to the first keyframe and move your composition upward. Follow me, do it as shown. Now you can see our animation. Let's make background for your logo. Create a new solid. Name it as BG. In effects and presets search for, RAM. Double click to add it to solid layer. Now select the start color and end color. Select the point and change its position. Change position of logo layer, make it above the background. Now create a new solid. Name it as BG1. Go to Effects, Video Copilot and select Optical Flares. Now go to Options. Select the type of flare you want. I will select Sun Digital. 
hide extra flares which we don't need. Select color. And select OK. Move its position to outside of frame. Position the layer below the logo. Change render mode to on transparent. Now let's add text. Create new text. Add text. Position it below logo. Change font size to 60. Change the font style. Now search for linear wipe transition effects in effect and presets. Add it to text layer. Change wipe angle to minus 90. Click on the stopwatch of transition complete and set values to 100. Go some seconds forward and change the transition complete value to 0. Create new solid. Name it to flare. Now mask the logo as show. Now search for CC light sweep in effect and presets. Double click to add it to layer. Change direction to 45 degree. Width to 30. Light reception to cut out. Now click the stopwatch to create keyframe. Now change the position of point to other side. Place the flare above the logo. You can see the wipe effect is created. Now select the flare, logo and text layer and pre-compose it. Name it as final. Now we need to create logo folding. For this we need to reverse the time frame. As we have created this in our previous particle logo effects tutorial. Trim the composition. To near about 4 second duration. Now create duplicate of final composition. Now select the above composition and change time to time reverse layer. This will create a reverse effects. Create new solid. Change color to black. On the title or action safe. 
Make sure you have selected the black solid. And draw the mask for inner frame. Change mode to subtract. Now our logo is ready. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Techno Mafia.